Welcome back to Daily Reddit Stories. Let's start with the story. AI today for bringing up concerns about my cousin's baby name choice. My cousin Stephanie and I are more like friends than just family. It's worth mentioning that she's not really into social media or online stuff, so she's not familiar with certain memes or internet jokes, and honestly, she doesn't really get how viral internet things work. Stephanie is pregnant and recently found out she's having a girl. About a week ago, she told her close group of girlfriends that she's planning to name her daughter Karen. The room got awkwardly quiet, but after a moment, everyone else politely said the name was nice. I just couldn't say anything. Later that evening, when Stephanie was out of the room, the group started talking like, OMG, that poor kid, and why would she choose Karen of all names? I felt pretty uncomfortable with this, especially since they'd all been so positive about the name when she was around. I thought more about it over the next couple of days and just felt really weird about the whole thing. The name is really loaded, to the point it could be detrimental to the baby, and Stephanie had no idea of the connotations to make an informed decision. So a couple of days later, I tentatively brought it up. I told her I was so excited for the baby, and just wanted her to have all available information when picking a name. I then started to explain that Karen has some negative connotations, and has become sort of an internet joke to describe a specific kind of entitled middle-aged woman. Stephanie instantly was furious, and started talking over me, saying, Why are you saying this, this is so mean. I was really surprised by her reaction, it felt very, very out of character, so I immediately stopped and said, I'm really sorry I didn't mean to hurt your feelings, I just wanted to tell you something I thought you might not know. She replied, that's the name I picked for my daughter and you think I picked it as some kind of joke, I don't understand why you'd say something so hurtful. When she said that, I felt like it signaled that she didn't really understand what I was trying to tell her, so after agonizing for a second about whether to press the issue even though she was so angry, I felt like in for a penny, in for a pound, and since she was already mad. I wanted her to at least understand what I was trying to explain to her. I googled, Karen know your meme, on my phone and tried to show her the screen of results while saying, look, I'm just saying that there's more meaning to the name than you may realize. She stood up, pushed my phone away, and shouted, wow. She then stormed out of my home and drove away. My aunt and mom have been berating me all week because Stephanie told them that I made fun of her baby name. Stephanie has not spoken to me or responded to my text since. I can take a hint, and I'm not gonna broach a topic again that caused so much distress, but I keep going back and forth on whether I was Tahir by bringing it up in the first place. Edit, thanks everyone. I have been properly schooled, and I accept my judgment that I was Tahir. Stephanie and I have a history of being extremely open and honest with each other, I was the maid of honor in her wedding, which we planned on being the case from a young age, and we always joked as teenagers that part of my duties would include, hawking her out of the marriage if the groom she picked sucked, and so maybe I was too flippant with approaching this topic due to our history and was unempathetic in underestimating how much she was already invested in the name she chose for her future daughter. I admit I'm a bit frustrated that Stephanie still doesn't understand what I was trying to tell her, she still thinks I was making some kind of weird, cruel joke accusing her of picking the name as a joke but I have messaged her a sincere apology that she accepted, and I will never speak of this again, to Stephanie or baby Karen. I'll also stand up for Stephanie if her other friends shit talk the name around me again. If they're not willing to voice their thoughts to Stephanie directly, they need to not say the kinds of things they were saying behind her back. Edit 2, one more thing. I definitely was not trying to tell Stephanie to not name her daughter Karen. I just wanted her to make the decision either way knowing the connotations since I'd want someone to do the same for me if I picked a baby name with cultural baggage I wasn't aware of. I realize now I handled it poorly and was hurtful to Stephanie in the process, but I just wanted to be clear that I wasn't actively trying to talk her out of the name. I just didn't want her to be blindsided if it came up later. Update Baby Karen was born healthy and happy back in October. She's an absolute sweetheart of a baby, and I'm totally in love with her. Between March and May, I didn't get to see her at all in person, but I was doing regular FaceTime slash house party calls with Stephanie and Karen, and over the last few weeks, I've been going over to Stephanie's house to sit in her backyard and chat with Stephanie slash coo at Karen from a lengthy distance. I have two reasons for updating. First, I've realized since Karen's birth that her name has taken on new meaning to me. When I'm with her, Karen just means her, and I don't think about the other connotations. In other words, you guys were right. That said though, my second reason for updating is that Stephanie got back into her year's unused Facebook at the beginning of the pandemic to keep in touch with people. She's been on it pretty regularly lately for the first time in years, historically, she's not really been into social media. Most people in our area slash social circle have been posting really heavily about BLM and the protests happening right now, as well as racial justice issues more generally. 
As a result, Stephanie has now come into contact with a deluge of Karen memes for the first time, and found them confusing and horrifying, especially the use of Karen as shorthand for a racist. I've basically just declined to talk about it with Stephanie, because it went so poorly last time, but both my mother and her mother have hounded me about it because it's upsetting to Stephanie, and said things like, is this what you were talking about before? Why didn't you say so? Why didn't you explain it better? You should have told Stephanie. And Jesus wept. You really can't win. Thanks again for all your feedback on my last post. It was very helpful in giving me some zen about the situation. Edit. Wow, I've been super overwhelmed by the flood of very kind, heartfelt PMs and just one or two not so kind ones, as well as the comments on my other post. Thank you, everyone. It continually amazes me how many nice and empathetic people frequent a sub devoted to assholes. Final update. First of all, baby Karen, not so much a baby anymore, is doing amazingly on her developmental milestones. She's a very bright child, sharp as the sharpest tack, and extremely tuned into her environment. Some of what she says is already fully in complete sentences, which just makes me want to cry when I hear it, because it seems like Stephanie was giving birth just yesterday. Karen loves books already, and will intently study the pictures in them for huge stretches of time, and claim to be reading. And you would not believe the uncomfortably incisive questions she's already asking. I am fully convinced this child is going to grow up to be an actual genius. Regarding the name, unfortunately, when Karen started daycare earlier this year, she started getting grief for her name pretty quickly from the older kids. The daycare she attends mixes the ages together at a couple of different points throughout the day, and while there fortunately wasn't much direct bullying, two of the age fives must have heard and internalized the derogatory connotations of the name Karen at home. As a result, they found her name absolutely hysterical, and they kind of spread the idea to the other kids that there was something funny slash wrong about her name. Karen was too little to understand what was happening but found the other kids' behavior toward her generally upsetting. The daycare staff made every effort to shut it down and let Stephanie and her husband know right away. After about a month of this, where the daycare wasn't having much success putting the kibosh on this behavior, and the kids weren't dropping it, Stephanie and her husband made the decision that Karen would be going by Carrie from now on, which was already an established nickname that a lot of family and friends were already using and that Karen already recognized as referring to herself. Stephanie and I never really fully revisited what happened during her pregnancy, but when she was telling me about what was happening in daycare, she apologized to me, I immediately felt terrible and reassured her there was no reason to apologize, emotions are complicated when you're pregnant, and then I thought having Karen go by Carrie was a great solution. Though changing what you're used to calling someone is fucking hard, i found, and I'm still directly addressing her on manual mode, every single time. A lot of the responses I got to my last post were gleeful and leaned into the schadenfreude of the situation, and I have to say those responses really bummed me out. I would much, much rather live in a world where I was wrong about the impact Karen's name would have on her. I cannot emphasize enough what a sweet disposition, smart, curious, loving little girl Carrie is, and how much she deserves every good thing in life. Also, a lot of people didn't like Stephanie in my last post, but I need you to understand that this is a tiny snapshot of a very emotionally high-strung time in her life and overall, Stephanie is a wonderful lifelong friend. She has gotten me through so many personal crises over the years, and she will never fail to show up for the people she cares about. Being pregnant and having a strong emotional attachment to the name you've picked out for your daughter is completely understandable, and her pregnancy was pretty rough on her moods. She once wept uncontrollably at a cat food commercial when she was about seven months pregnant. I also think my approach for trying to explain the name issue those years ago was very clumsy, and I could have done a better job of bringing it up. That said, with the distance of time, I am really glad I did broach the topic. I feel like I owed Stephanie that information, and I can feel good about giving it to her. If I'd chosen not to bring it up at the time, I think I'd have a lot of regrets now. The only thing I'd change now, looking back, is that I would try to bring it up more gently somehow with Stephanie so I could have had the chance to explain. In summary, all is well. We've run into a little bump in the road with other kids' reactions to Carrie's name, but in some ways, it's better to get this out of the way now, when Carrie doesn't really understand what's happening, than have this happen in kindergarten or elementary school down the road, when full-on bullying could be a risk. She's adjusting really well to going by her nickname full-time, and Stephanie and her husband are planning on enrolling her with Carrie as her preferred name in all future schooling. And since schools around here go by preferred name, rather than legal name in things like classroom roll calls, it's possible she can get through K-12 without it ever really being widely known among her peers that her legal name is Karen. And I really hope this common usage of the name Karen dies down in the next few years.
Thank you for listening to the whole story. Wishing you a wonderful day.